Hey everybody, welcome to Plant It Pretty. So as you guys can see behind me, that's the trellis that I actually planted the wisteria on and started to train it up. That is lesson learned. I bought the cheapest trellis I could get that looked halfway decent at the hardware store. And as I was installing it the other day, it broke. I did some editing and took that out of the video, but I knew I was gonna have to go back. So I went to one of my favorite antique shops and they've actually set up a whole garden section with obelisks, arbors, trellises, the works. So I was able to find an obelisk that I really liked and it was really, really pretty, but it was like this vintagey cream green color that I just wasn't a super huge fan of. So I grabbed it and was like, you know what? A $2 can of spray paint will fix this right up. So I wanted to spray paint it black so that it will stand out really well against the white house. Um, and I, that's what today's video is, is me spray painting that and then putting the wisteria onto it and training the wisteria to it. It's working out perfect. I will try to include some pictures or upload some pictures to my social media later. Um, because the wisteria had some flower, uh, some branches, I guess, that were trellising forward or trailing forward. So getting the obelisk that fit over it really is helping encourage it to climb. So sorry about the, the noise. Um, I just decided I needed to come out here and film this real quick. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, feel free to like, subscribe, and leave comments. Um, I'm really, really enjoying doing this. Uh, it's still pretty rough, <laughs> so just bear with me as I learn and as I as I do more stuff. So, thanks! Bye! Okay, so I'm cheating a little bit. I'm watching some flags that are in the yards, and the wind is blowing that way. So, I'm good with that because my car's that way, and I didn't want to get it on my car. Otherwise, I was going to have to do it in that empty lot next door. <music> Fast, easy, fun project. Oh, I'm sure I'm still gonna see spots all the time. Um, but it's mostly black, and that was what I really wanted. Uh, it was great because I didn't have to worry about drip because, well, as long as it's all black, I'm not super worried about details. I'm gonna sit here and let this dry while I go plant some plants. Y'all, um, I'm very glad that my husband lost a lot of weight and doesn't want these shirts because I totally messed up. So, oopsie, I'm gonna... Okay, so, the hosta is called a wrinkle in time. Look how cute. And, the hookah just says hookah, it doesn't tell me what kind of hookah it is, but man, is it dry. So, we're gonna get these in, get them watered in, and uh, fertilize, and hope for the best. Okay, two down, four to go. Have I mentioned that it is hot?
So I'm glad to see that this has got some new growth on it since I planted it. Lots of little new growth coming up. So that makes me happy because I wasn't sure how it was going to do here. I did research it quite a bit and it said sun to part shade. Um, and I was really afraid because my sedum, or not my sedum, it is part of the Creeping Jenny family. And my Creeping Jenny that's under the tree is doing really, really well. So I was concerned that this might be too hot of an area for it, but I think it's actually pretty good. Okay, so last project for the day because um, it is just too hot. Um, so I'm going to work in the backyard tomorrow. Plus, I think we're supposed to get some rain here in a little bit. And I got bit. That's why we wear gloves, I guess. But I never do. Anyway, so here's the summer wine wisteria. Here's the trellis. This is what I get for being cheap. I did buy it new at a big box store. But it is literally just bratted together. And you can see down here, it came off. But so what I was talking about is it has this new growth here that is facing forward. So I actually think the obelisk is going to actually be quite a bit better for it. So now to unwind it off of the trellis, place the obelisk, and train it to the obelisk. So here we go. obelisk is going to look better against the white brick and um, like I said I think it's going to be a better climbing situation for the wisteria. So that I think already looks so much better, especially down at the bottom. I'll make sure I take a picture and pan over it. Some of the green is starting to come through, but I can definitely go through and touch up either with a paintbrush or just let it be and there'll be a little black rustic. And then when the summer wine wisteria is done, which I'm assuming for winter, I'll probably have to trim it back. Then I can go, come back through and touch up the obelisk. But I think painting it black was such a great idea. And I think that's something I, even I'm bad about, is I'll see something and be like, I really like the shape, or I really like what's going on there. And I don't ever think, oh, well, I can paint it. So, I'm dripping in sweat. I'm not
not cute. Oh, is a blue jay having a fit? Um, so, yeah. That's it for today. Like I said, I think tomorrow I'm going to work in the backyard. Um, there's a lot going on back there. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Please hit like, hit subscribe. You know the deal. Um, but, yeah. Thanks for tuning in. See y'all later. Okie doke. As promised, a close-up.